Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Lead a Life in Common. This is Mary Vicknell. Today, what we're going to be talking about on our podcast, which is all about love, life, and business, is opportunities. I'm going to be sharing with you a workshop that I led on creating high ticket hybrid business offers. Here's what I want to tell you. One of the things that I've discovered of late is so many women talk about opportunities. And I want to share with you that our opportunities today are limitless. The other day I was on a sales call and this woman said to me, um, I feel so frustrated because I have so many opportunities as though that was a big ass problem. I want you to take that in complaining about or commenting about you choose, which bit sounds better to you. Complaining about, oh my God, I have so many opportunities. It's like women today, we need to be in deep, deep reverence and gratitude for the shoulders of the women we stand on from generations before us. The women that have paved the way for our endless, amazing opportunities. And when we poo poo opportunities, we're also using that as an excuse to not move forward. Now, I'm not saying that when you go to a buffet, you're like, holy shit, I got all these opportunities for choosing different foods. Great. We don't go to a buffet and, and, and you know, would necessarily pick one thing. Sometimes we experiment. Sometimes we're going to try something new. And that's what I want to offer to you about when you think, oh my God, I have so many opportunities. Here's the truth. You can do most of those opportunities. You can do most of the things. No doubt about it. But you can't necessarily do them all the time. So instead of thinking, oh my God, I've got too many opportunities. I don't even know what to choose. Think, thank you, God, that I have this many opportunities. Let me list them out and let me methodically go through a process to determine which one I want to take advantage of now. Try it out. Remember, I've taught you, make a decision and keep that decision until new information comes along that may have you modify that decision. And so when you go through methodically doing this with all these opportunities, It will give you the chance to feel also that you're not wasting time, that you're not wasting, that it's not costing you because you've made the decision that you're going to attempt X, Y, and Z. See how it goes. And I don't mean flighty, see how it goes. I mean, you're going to be discerning about which opportunities are the logical, the profitable, the, um, can lead you towards your biggest, boldest goal. You're going to start with those first, for sure. You're going to become a master of one of them, and then you will add on. This is the surest way to success. Trying to do all opportunities at one time is the surest way to failure. Okay, so I'm today I'm going to be just sharing, this will be a long um, podcast, I'm sharing just one of my um, high ticket uh, trainings, from a while back. It's still juicy. It's still good. And I just want to show you that this is an opportunity to look at different ways of selling your offer, selling your service. It doesn't matter what niche you're in, what industry you're in, you will get something out of this. And the whole point of this is having you evaluate what you're doing in the world, how you're doing it, and recognizing that everything works. Everything works, guys. But it may not be the right thing for you. Every opportunity has seeds of greatness and possibilities within it. It just may not be the right opportunity for you. Every offer or every marketing strategy or every guy, right? Or every date or every food. So when we can sit in a place of gratitude, the world changes. Now, if you want a little bit more about fear, um, about overcoming your stuff, make sure that you go to marybicknell.com slash I choose bold for the fear breakthrough formula. And hey, if you have not given me a five-star review yet, or you have not made a comment, please do. I value that. I want to hear what you have to say. So go make it a big, bold day and uh, put into place this training. I can't wait to hear how this has helped you appreciate your opportunities. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Mary Bicknell. You are in the right place. If you are here and you're signed up because you want to, you want to really look at a bit, what I call a business, uh, a hybrid business framework. What is that? It's high ticket, high touch, low tech. 
I want to preface this by saying high touch does not mean you being exhausted. So if you've come here and you have looked at your business over the years and you are getting burnt out, you've gotten burnt out, you're feeling frustrated, you feel like you want to burn the, burn the entire business down. I want to encourage you to put a pin in that and really listen hard over the next three days. We will be having a bonus call on Saturday. That's going to be serious mindset, all success mindset all about success mindset. You're here. If you're a service provider, maybe you're a coach, you're a clinician, you're the face of your business. You provide a service. Maybe you're um, a nurse, you're a consultant, you're a chiropractor, you're a practitioner, you're a holistic something, you're a health coach. You're here because you're providing a service. And the truth of the matter is, is that sometimes when we're providing a service after a while, it can be exhausting. Can anybody relate to that? You're welcome to put your hand up and be like, yes, give me a thumbs up. Give me a high five. Who can relate to the reality that we can get exhausted sometimes when we're providing a service? Here's a couple of reasons why. Number one, we provide a service. We started a business and we never set up a proper way to ensure that we Um, are not going to be exhausted by over-delivering. We haven't learned how to market effectively so that we're just taking any old Sally Jane that comes along. We don't have the boundaries in place. Or maybe you love your business. You're here too if you love your business, but you've just hit a wall and it doesn't seem sustainable for the next five, 10, 15, 20 plus years. It doesn't seem sustainable. So the the today we're going to be talking and over the next couple of days, actually tomorrow, we're going to design an actual um, framework for you and your business where you are right now. Because the hybrid, hybrid business framework is pr- it's designed to scale your business as you grow. So we're starting putting it into place. So maybe you're in the building stage. It's applicable. Maybe you're in the growing stage. It's applicable. Maybe you're in the scaling stage. It's applicable because the bottom line is our clients want that connection. They want high touch and they want themselves low tech. And I don't know about you, but I know most of the clients that I've worked with, right? We're like the helper people. And we're not in, thank you. I'm gonna put your hand down. Thank you. Um, your hands down. Thank you. We're not, we're, we're, we, we might love tech, but like we love it. It's a love, hate kind of thing. I want to offer to you, I'm going to show you, I'm going to prove to you that less is best. Less is more. And it is counter, completely counter to your belief system probably right now. You might be in a place of more is more for my clients. More is better for my clients. We're going to talk about this today. And remember, these are short. I want to get impactful. I'm going to leave you every day with a bold action business step that you can implement immediately. Okay. It's, I want you to implement, keyword implement, execute, do the thing. So at the end of this, you're here because. Also, I'm going to be inviting you to work with me. I'm going to be inviting you to get on a business breakthrough call. So you're going to be listening over the next couple of days, getting to know me if you don't already know me. See if I'm your vibe, seeing if what I'm saying resonates, makes sense, and looks like, wow, there's a system here for business growth and development. We're going to look at your business and see, are you in the building, the growth, or the scaling stages. And then how might I help you? You might be going to different, uh, different programs that I have, and I'll share that with you. I know that if you're here also, you're intrigued by the concept of high ticket selling, but you don't like selling. We're going to talk more about that on Friday. I want to plant a little seed right now. Plant, plant, plant. Everything, my friends is selling. So I'm just going to throw that out there right now, because if you're like, ah, I'm letting you know, I talk about money, making a lot of money, owning your own calendar, working when you choose to work, 
and not worrying. Oh my God, I can't find any clients because of that. No, think about us, you guys. Some of you might be attorneys here. Some of you, um, you know, think about how many attorneys, how many doctors, how many people are like, here's my, here's when I can see you. And you give, and the client then gets the choice to go forward or not. So selling. Okay. So why me? You know, it's 2022 over the last couple of years, I've made over a million dollars just the last couple of years. 2021 was really, I actually, excuse me, 2020 was a massive, successful, nearly seven figure year for me. And I have tried it all. I've practiced it all. I've been an entrepreneur since before I, I grad, before I graduated high school, I moved out of the house. So I've been a moneymaker forever. And I was a psychotherapist. I was a clinician clinician. I've had, I have a degree in interior design. I had an interior design business. So, and I've been a sales trainer. I have been online pre COVID, by the way, (laughs) my business is nine years old and it has afforded me two homes being a hands-on mama to my daughter. Now who's almost 16 since she was tiny. I was the home room mom. So for those of you with little kids and you're like, how can I make a business? I'm going, I can teach you that for those of you who are kids are out of the house. Like, let's talk. The real mission here, and this is what we're going to talk about today, is you, my friends, making all the money that you need to be financially sovereign, to be financially independent, not relying on another human being except you. And by the way, here's a mind twist, pay attention, and not your clients. The other day I was coaching someone and she's like, well, I'll really believe it more when when my clients pay me. That is not what we're looking at. We're looking at, and today, this is what we're going to be talking about. How do we attract the right best client where you're not even having a concept of, will they pay me? It is done. And this might push against some of your belief system around money, around how much you should charge, around exchanging time for money, dollar per hour, and that whole outdated construct of helping people. When you learn, when my, when I work with clients and they master the art and the skill that you can learn to actually make money, they are free. That's what I'm here for. I want you to be free about money worries. Nothing's more horrible than worrying about, oh my God, how am I going to Worrying about money, worrying about your time. When are you going to be able to take time off to do something with your kid, send them to the best college, move away, all the things. So making money is simply getting a, being able to utilize the tool of money to create memories and moments in your life. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. I want you to imagine right now, take a minute. Imagine if you worked half the time and made, let's just say you made the same money guys, but let's say you doubled your income working half the time. That is what the hybrid business framework is designed to help you do. High ticket, high touch. So your clients feel like loved on, right? Low tech. So you're not consumed with having to hire a bunch of people, all these funnels, all these pieces of software so that you can actually do the work with your clients. I'm here to prove to you that more is not better. Okay. So I've got my notes right here because I want to stay on track because I could talk to you all day, but we have 30 minutes. Fast, impactful, get it done today. Making more money with less client contact. That's what I just said. Working half the time making more money, and more importantly, clients getting results. See, it doesn't matter if you work half the time and you make twice as much money if you have a lot of dissatisfied clients. So here's the conversation about that. And this is what we're talking about today related to your marketing, your client attraction. Over the next three days, we are going to be talking about over-delivery, overwhelm, undercharging, and your calendar and how those relate to the hybrid business framework. So let's just start with that. I'm going to start with 
the belief that there are no good clients who are willing to pay a high ticket. I want to, I want you just to listen to that for a second. The problem with a lot of clients, a lot of people is they have a belief that there are, that where, that there's a secret Island that, you know, you got to pay me for, I got to pay you first, Mary, before you tell me where that secret Island is that houses all of the people who are going to pay high ticket. Where are all the clients? I want to tell you right now, they literally are in your circle, but because you don't have a belief that people are willing to invest to get a result, have a transformation, have something that's going to transform them for a lifetime, the value of your business offer. This is what it's about. It's about you believing in the value of your business offer. And what happens a lot of times is we personalize this. We're like, I don't know if I can help, you know, it's like, well, how much can I cram into an hour? How much can I cram in? Because we believe we've been told all growing up that you, what our value is, who agrees with that high five comment, thumbs up that we've been told our whole lives. You get a job at McDonald's, 15 bucks an hour, whatever the hell it is. You get a job at an agency. It's this much money. You go into your own private, whatever, and you're comparing to what other people are doing. How many of you have based your prices, which tomorrow, Thursday, we're going to be talking about pricing. How many of you though have based your pricing of your service based on what you quote, and I'm air quoting, right? Quote, quote, believe people will pay, or you've based it on what people in your industry sell things for. I want to help you bust through that belief right now, because there are people right now there are women right now who are making five, 10, 20 times the amount of money you are making simply, simply because they've changed their thinking around high ticket selling. They've changed their thinking around hard work. They've changed their thinking around the value of a transformation that people will pay for. Oh my gosh, I could just keep talking about this. We're going to move on. So we believe that there are no good clients out there. This is the problem that will pay a high ticket for high touch and low tech. And the myth is, is that we need to massively over deliver. So it's like in your mind. So if this is true for you, I want you to, I want you to like comment or high five or put your hand back up again. Is it true for you that you have a belief that in order to have somebody paying me excuse me, a high ticket. And that's relative guys. A high ticket could be five grand. It could be $50,000. It could be $10,000. It could be six grand. It could be whatever you pick the number that pushes up against your money boundaries, your money mindset, your money freak out. Oh my God. Somebody paid me $10,000 for working together six months. Oh my God. Whatever that looks like. So this pushes up against, you have a belief, oh my God, Mary, I'm already working so hard for what I'm making now. How is it possible that I can charge more and I'm not actually giving more of my time? See, this is part of the problem. We conflate more time with a client with the reason we can quote, charge more. This is such a fallacy. I really like, if you only listen to this, this is like the money. This is what I can, this is one of the things that people come to me and, and I charge for, because this right here, when you learn this and you bust through this belief system, your entire business will change. If you have the belief that, oh my God, I already work so hard in order for me to make more, I have to have more time, more time with clients, or I have to bring on more clients. And I'm already working with 20 or 30 or 40 clients. I have no more time. You're missing the huge thing. More time does not equate 
to more value. Write that down. More time does not equate to more value. And when we're in that, I need to give them more, I need to give them more time. I need to give them another module. I need to give them a big workbook. I need to call, we need to talk three times a week. We know when, when you have, when you're in that framework, of course, you're thinking it's impossible to, to build, grow and scale your business. If anything, you're probably like, God, just the thought of like, giving my, giving more of myself away to somebody and a client is exhausting. This is why some of you just want to throw away your entire business. And I want to tell you, I am here to help you salvage it, create it, tweak it. I am a, I'm an expert at this. I'm brilliant at this. We totally can tweak your business that you could love it again, no matter what your industry, you don't have to throw it all out and change industries to go to someplace else, what you're doing right now, a hundred percent, 100%. I can help you work less and make more without exhaustion. So here's the moment your clients don't want more stuff. They don't want more information. They don't even really even want more of your time. They don't care about you when, you know, They care about themselves and they care about the results. They want you to help them solve their problem. Here's the, pay attention. This is the moment. They don't care what the hell it is. Let me say that again. Think about this logically. Let's remove the emotion. I say this all the time. Let's remove the emotion and think about this. If you could get the results that you want, If you could solve your problem, if you could implement the solution to a problem without it taking more of your time, without you feeling overwhelmed, without you having to just do a bunch of busy work, wouldn't that be better? Right? Think about it logically. Let's play this out a little bit. Let's say that you are somebody who helps people with getting better health. I'm just like picking something out of the air, right? You're some type of practitioner of some sort. People come to you. They've got this problem. They've tried to solve it before. They've read a book. Maybe they did some other course by themselves. And you're like, look, this is a three-step solution. One, two, three. We're going to talk for 30 minutes a week. Uh, You're going to have a homework assignment. You're going to implement it right then, or not even a homework assignment. I'm going to coach you. I'm going to consult with you 30 minutes a week. So you know what to do. And it's just three simple steps. One, two, three. Wouldn't you want that instead of, let me tell you what we're going to do to solve your problem. It's going to take a while. You got to do stuff every single day. You and me, we're going to talk multiple times. You can vox me. I've got, you know, 95 different 15 minute videos. I have meditation audios. I have, you got to go to a store. You got to record stuff. I want you to replay everything back. Make sure you're sending me your homework every single night. Like, what do you want? Do you want that? Or you want the three steps? Both of them solve the problem. Of course, your client wants the simpler thing. Now let's talk about high ticket around both of these offers. We think that our client wants more. So if I give them more, all the stuff, then that will quote, justify the price. I'm here to offer to you guys. I'm here to really offer this truth. A client would be more willing to spend higher ticket, pay more money so that they also have reduction in time invested. They would be willing to spend more for a solution that's going to be simpler. 
simpler, overcomplicated. Which one are you going to buy? Let's be real. Same price, same dollar figure. Let's just put a dollar. You pick a dollar figure in your head that you're like, if people paid me this, I'd be jumping up and down. Great. Okay. Pick that number. And tomorrow we're going to talk about numbers, but you pick that number right now for yourself. If people paid me X number money and they would be just as satisfied and get the transformation and the results with a more simplistic, low tech solution where I can just be my best, be in my genius zone. I don't have to deal with all of the complicated stuff and neither do they. Which one would they buy? Which one would you buy? Which one would you invest in? Would you invest in simplicity or over deliver? Now let's talk about this though, right? Oh, okay, I'm taking a breath because this is so good. The thing that you have to remember is when you're in over delivery mode, you give your client no white space, no place to practice implementation. And isn't that actually the key to long-term success? By becoming um, effective in practicing the art of whatever your solution is to implementing the solution repetitively and create a new habit. Think about it. If you were helping somebody with their health and and they had a laundry list of like a checklist of 29 things to do today, you got to drink all your water. You got to make sure you get all your steps. You got to like take these vitamins at like eight, noon and four. You got it like this whole laundry list. How sustainable is that? As opposed to In the morning, I want you to, you know, listen to your body and make sure you eat, you know, four eggs to start the day or whatever it is, something that is sustainable and they can practice and implement. Then the high touch when you're working with your clients is actually give, getting feedback, consulting with them, coaching with them, not teaching them something else they have to do before they've even mastered your solution? How can you simplify? Sometimes the truth is when you're thinking about signing clients, I know this is true for a lot of clients. When you're thinking about signing clients, what happens is you're so overwhelmed with what you think you need to deliver that you don't even want to sign clients. It's like, you don't even want to market. And you're like, God, so, I'm so exhausted as opposed to, oh my God, I've got this amazing solution. It's simple. It's effective. This is the transformation that you're going to have. It's better to have your client learn a few tools, one or two tools, practice them, have some space. You coach them. Did, how effective was that? Practice some more, let it become a habit. Then you drag in with you your laundry list of tools. I, this happens all the times with my clients. I want to tell you, they come in and maybe they're growing their business and, or they're maybe they're first building their business and they are so well-educated. And I'm sure you are too, because I've marketed to you. So you're so well-educated. You have a million tools in your tool chest and you want to give them all to a client. And you think that that's better that that over delivering is better as opposed to the reality. You've probably been using those tools like for decades, for years. You're a helper that your business is something that you love to do. Or at one time, at least you love to do it. So you probably really studied it. You probably are educated, probably got a degree and all kinds of like knowledge about it. Meanwhile, your ideal client knows nothing. So you're trying to give somebody a PhD worth of information in like a six month time frame, And, and then they feel bad when they can't implement your decades of knowledge. So we want to give people space. We want to give people space. So how do you attract the, the best client so that you can give them simplicity? You can sell it to them at a high ticket because they want the solution that you can offer. Here it is. When, write this down. When you only market to the best client, that's all you will attract. When you only market to the best clients, that's all you will attract. 
here's the, the moment when your best clients are literally right in front of your face, but you're marketing to all the tire kickers. You're marketing to all the like people who are never, ever going to buy. So this is part of the problem in, in with a lot of clients, they come in and they don't know how to market. So what they're doing is they're trying to overcome all these tire kicker objections, right? Think about it. They're like, so they're trying to overcome people's like, well, I don't really know if I really want that thing. And you're like, let me tell you why you need that thing. Let's tell you why you need that thing. This is why you need that thing. As opposed to this is how to do it. This is you. If just like I said to y'all, you're here, you're the face of your business. You are some type of service provider. You are ready to master the art and skill of building, growing, and scaling your business, selling high ticket, making more money, working less while, while still having great client results. That's what you're here for. I'm not here to try and convince you. You can, you know, like sell high ticket only. No, you're already like, I want to sell that high ticket. I want to learn. I want to master selling. I want to make more money. So what happens is people market to all of everybody's objections. They don't actually market the problem that their perfect ideal client has. You have, here's your problem. You're tired. You're really smart. You've got a solution. You probably have a lot of things in place in your business. And now you're ready to next level it. Now you're ready to be like, okay, I've got some stuff built out in my business. In fact, I already have some success and I feel really good about that, but I've never taken the time to step back and actually refine my processes, my systems, my marketing, my selling. And oh my God, I need to do that because what I'm doing now is not sustainable for another five, 10, 20 years. That's who you are, probably if you're here. Often people feel like they don't know where to find high ticket clients. And part of that is because they haven't refined all of these systems. They haven't refined the solution to be simplistic. Right now, I want you to take a moment. This hybrid business framework is designed for not only your client to enjoy simplicity, but you to enjoy it as well. Double checking my business, my notes here. So we're rounding the corner here at the 30 minute mark. So I'm going to give you right now your bold business action steps. So let me summarize. More is not better. More does not equate to being able to charge more. Simplicity is what your clients want. Simplicity around your solution is what will help them get the best results. And when your clients repetitively get the best results, guess what happens? Your demand rises, your own confidence rises, and therefore you will actually start increasing your rates to a higher and higher ticket because you've proven your solution works. The way to prove that it works is to simplify it so people can implement it and get results. Make sense? So here's how to know whether or not you're doing this or not. And so I want to encourage you to email me these answers, show up wherever you're watching this, give me your answers over the next 24 hours. Here's how to examine this. Ready? I want to give you tactical ways to examine Number one, I want you to examine the last 10 interactions with clients or prospects. Who showed up? What did the people show up who were like, oh my God, I don't know if I can do this. This seems so challenging. This seems so hard. I don't really know. Golly days, that's too much money. Like, is that what happened? What happened when you, number two, what happened when you got on sales calls? Were there a ton of objections? 
did you feel like you started getting into this like frustrated, convincing energy? Like, I swear the thing I'm selling is the best thing ever. Did you feel that? Or were you just like, screw it. I give up because she's just like throwing up all these objections to me. And I want to offer also that sometimes objections are normal because people are nervous. There's a difference between people being like, God, I'm, I'm afraid, or this is a lot, or then just constantly like, uh, in doubt mode, in doubt of you and of themselves. Or did they show up ready to invest with you? Maybe they've seen you, they've seen your marketing. So when you actually invite them to a sales call, which I've invited you, I will be inviting you to a sales call. They've already experienced your wisdom, your knowledge, because you've already put value out. So what I'm doing right now is I'm giving you tons of value. If you just implemented everything that I taught you today, game changer in your business, game changer. So are you speaking to their problem? Not your worst client. And when I say worst client, I don't mean these are terrible people. I just mean they aren't the best client for your particular offer. Are you speaking to your best client? Are you speaking to her mind, body, soul, like her 2 a.m. thoughts? Is she saying, oh my God, this person really gets me. That's your bold action biz steps for today. Tomorrow, what we're going to talk about is how to package price your knowledge, your experience, and really leverage your time. So this can be, whether it's still high ticket, one-on-one, we're going to talk about when you're ready for a group program, and we're going to see how to weave your current business into this framework, whether it's building it, growing it, or scaling it. So I'd love for you to email me, mary at marybicknell.com. If you're ready to have a conversation, a business breakthrough conversation, where I will get on the call with you. And we will map out your entire framework, your offer. And then the decision will be, what next? Do you want some help implementing it? I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.